In this video we're going to take a look at how to add lights and shadows to your room. I've created a basic room here using the tips I told you about in how to create a room video. And I'm going to add two lights now. So by doing that I will click on new room, right click, insert new light. I'll do that twice. There we go. So two lights have appeared under new room on the left. The reason I've added two lights is because one will be the shadows and one will be the natural light. So I'll click on one and if you look at the box on the right here, these are the options for that particular light. So I'm going to change the colour. Uh, let's go for a light blue. So make one light, I'll click OK and I'll change the colour intensity to about 5. And light type. I will change to static. So that's one light done. I'll click on the second light on the left here and this will be the shadow. So I'll blue again but this time darker and click OK. I'll leave it at one and at light type oops, in light type I'll put ambient. Right, you won't notice any effect at the moment. What I need to do now if you haven't already, click on New Area, and on the right here, where it says Layout Name, type a name in. Just a short one. So, Dragon. If you don't do that, the lights won't render properly. So I'll click on New Room, and I'll click on this button up here, Render Light Maps. And that should roughly render the light wraps, light maps correctly. You can move the lights around a bit. I can find them. <laughs> so you can position them where you want in the room. And that will obviously affect what, what sort of light you get. So ideally you position them where you want them to be. So that's basically how you add lights and shadows. Um, please subscribe, there's some more videos on the way. Uh, many thanks to those that have already. And um, please leave comments and feedback below the video. I do appreciate it. So, And uh, good luck with the tool set. If you have any questions, just ask. 